Sorry, guys. Hello, hello, hello. Hello, everyone. So sorry. Hi, DJ Swicker. Thanks for joining me. How are you guys doing today? I hit the wrong button the last time. <laughs> Thanks for coming back, Valerie. Thanks for coming back, Keela. I'm wonderful. Hi, pretty brown eyes, too. Thanks for coming back, Karen. You guys take this time to um, share with your friends and followers and tap the screen for hearts. My nose. This is going to be a really quick scope. Um, I just wanted to. Thanks for sharing on Twitter. <clears throat> Thanks, um, Pretty Brown Eyes, for inviting your follower. I was sitting on this winter wonderland day. Hi, Miss Lady K. Thanks for inviting your followers, Keela. Thanks for sharing on Twitter, um, Karen. I got, I'm having a bad hair day, so I threw on a hat real quick. But I wanted to um, just pop on and talk about I was in the dark last night and I've been working. Um, I worked in the dark. Now I was working and I was kind of gazing out of the window looking at the, <laughs> I know, right? Kind of looking at the snow and just how awesome it is to be able to um, enjoy the weather even though it's cold it may not be what i want it to be like outside but i have to be content in it and i started thinking i was having a conversation with the lady earlier and she sent me some uh, uh, a piece of a sermon and it was talking about being content and i started we were in the discussion, I made the statement of sometimes you have to um, recognize the breakdown in order to build up. So I was thinking about my last eight years of life and how I, um, through various things, I was broken down so that I could be built up to this very moment, this very point in life, this um, journey that I'm on. And how when you when you are content, um, you kind of just go with the flow. Last night I was in the dark again, and, and um, I was cooking in the dark. I, I used a flashlight on my phone, lit some candles, cooked me something to eat. I worked in the dark. And just being able to adapt to the situation, no matter what it what it is or what it's like, um, adapting to situations in life, adapting to being divorced, newly single, adapting to not having a job, adapting to um, your children moving out, adapting to um, having to go from a full time um 100% knowing you have income to a full-time entrepreneur where if you don't work, you don't eat, literally. Um, so I was just thinking about how I have adapted over the last eight years through each situation and being, thank you guys so much for hearts and being able to get to this point to be a Nikki Woods brand ambassador. Um, which may not seem like a lot to some, but in my realm, it is like the epitome of awesomeness. Um, and just being able to connect with all the different people that I've come in contact with. So I wanted to get on today and just encourage you, no matter where you are in your walk, um, learn to be content, adapt to what's around you, and recognize your breakdown for your buildup. 
when you are down to nothing, God is up to something. And let me tell you, I have had a, a long haul journey, and that's putting it simple, um, with various um, challenges in life. And to just look back on that, and I'm not even going back to childhood. I'm just talking the last eight years from 2008 to 2016. It has, you know, I'm telling the truth, don't you, Keela? Um, it has been drastic changes. It has been um, mega challenges. And it has been major triumphs. And I just thank God for all of it. I used to be like, why am I going through this? What is, what is going on? But I came to realize today that God did all that breaking down. So that I could recognize that he was the one that built me up. Isn't that something? And when I got sincere and committed to him, he hasn't, he has been sincere and committed to me. He was already committed. It just took my act of commitment so that he could manifest what he wanted to manifest in my life. And I'm super excited about all this journey that's that's going on right now in another eight years i'll probably be telling you yes they are and honey they are falling when when you say the floodgates are open see let me tell y'all something people say let the floodgates open but they many i'm not gonna say they many of us think that it's the floodgates of money let me tell you something it's not always money it can be people it can be places, it can be things, it can be a necessity field that you didn't even know how it was going to come about, what was going to happen. But you have to be willing to embrace that. You have to be willing to um, say, okay, I'm not in control of this thing. Lord, I'm going to give it to you and whatever your will is. because That's where I am in my life. Whatever his will is, is good with me. It, is, it doesn't matter if it's not my cup of tea. It's his cup of tea. It doesn't matter that um, I may have seen it differently. It's his way. It's his way or no way. So just to be able to um, connect and grow and nurture relationships with um, various people that are in my life now, it's awesome. It is awesome to see, um, to be able to recognize his hand and his movement. It was, I don't believe it was by chance that I was invited to Nikki Wood's scope that day. Amen. He made, he gave you the vision. He'll give you the provision. It wasn't by accident that. I had to go. Thanks for joining, Rhonda Lou. It wasn't by accident that I had to go through the kind of divorce that I went through so that I could help other women. It wasn't um, by accident that I am um, I made a lot of mistakes on this uh, on my journey to entrepreneurship so that I could recognize when he started moving in this thing. It wasn't a mistake that I didn't understand the gift that he gave me until I committed to him and allowed him to show me what I was supposed to do with it. None of it's a mistake. So I'm just telling you today, don't despise your breakdown because it's all for your buildup. Don't despise your breakdown because it's all for your buildup. And when he builds you up, not only will you recognize it, but everybody around you will. And he is, it'll be undeniable that it was God and God alone. So I thank you guys so much for joining me today. Um, I, you watch my Facebook page. My Facebook page is Precious S. Brown. And on it, um, on, we are going to launch... Amen. I wasn't ready for it six months ago. I wouldn't even recognize that I needed to press the button six months ago. It's all in his time and his time is not our time. We'll be launching a, um, for those of you that are entrepreneurs on this scope, 
um, or if you know some, share this with them. We'll be like launching a visi media visibility um, challenge, a seven day challenge, and I'm going to have the information on my Facebook page. If you're not my friend, you should be. Don't believe me, just watch. Um, so watch out for that. And then also it's coming up, Spotlight 2016 Conference is coming up and it's in March. Yay! Thanks, Karen. Um, that's coming up in March. It's going to be in Dallas, Texas. It's going to be off the hook, teaching you how to get visible in the media and bring your brand to the next level. So if you want to check that out, um, the link is bit.ly slash NWM Ambassador Precious. NWM is capital letters. N-W-M-A is capital, and then the rest, ambassadors, and then capital P for precious. So check those things out. But um, if we're friends on Facebook, awesome. If we're not, check me out. And just keep an eye on things. It's going to start moving fast. I'm prepared because I understand now the breakdown was for the buildup. So you guys have a wonderful day. Just wanted to hop on and, and encourage you today. Thank you so much for the hearts. Thank you all for um, sharing with your friends and followers. Those that are watching the replay, thank you so much again. I don't know if I introduced myself. Later, Gator. I don't know if I introduced myself. I am Precious Brown, the power coach, CEO, and founder of Power and You, and the divorceologist. I help divorced women overcome um, the negative experience by shifting their pain to power so that they can live healthy, happy lives emotionally, physically, and spiritually. So those of you that don't know me, check me out. If you do know me, I'll see you around. Thank you guys so much for joining me. Stay tuned.